athletes. And now, please welcome that piece of the people who play for the Reader Women's Bronze Medal match. Time for the bronze medal match here at the first stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup recurve women's individual bronze medal match between two Germans. On target number one, representing Germany, Charlene Schwab. <laughs> On target number two, representing Germany, Katerina Bauer. <laughs> the line judge for this match is David Catalan. Well, bronze being contested between two Germans, and Nikki, so the Germans bring a strong team. This is uh, pretty much evidence to support that. Who do you fancy here for the medal, though? Absolutely. I mean, it's going to be another tough one. I think Bauer perhaps got the advantage here. Let's see what they can do. Ready for set number one of this women's recurve individual bronze medal match. Good start. Looking at three now. So the coach in the background is talking through the shots. reach for Schwarz. But finishes strongly with a 10. But the first set points go to Bauer. Schwarz though, finding the middle of the target, just battling a bit of nerves. And just remember that uh, Schwarz was part of the Tokyo bronze medal team Germany, those Olympic Games held last year in 2021, having been delayed for well, documented reasons. Katharina Bauer, though, is on form here, isn't she? She came here for the uh, Spring Arrows, which was a couple of weeks ago, and won that tournament. Yeah, that's right. She's come into the team. Lisa Unruh has stepped out. Uh, she's been a big, big team member for Germany for so many years, and this has given the gap ready for Katharina to come through. And the German team have actually been out here for the last three weeks now from that uh, first tournament, Spring Arrows here in Antalya, so yeah, she's having an absolute blast. Bauer takes the early lead, two set points to nil, so Schwarz will get the second set underway. Hopefully for her, she's settled her nerves and she can get right back in this match. Just quick shots from both, good timing, just keeping the shots moving, which is exactly what you want to do in recurve archery. both these archers as they release their face doesn't change their eyes stay on the target there's no difference or change in that at all really important at the top level oh, now that one's on the line as well that looks like it will be a nine well it's marked as an eight at the moment 
provisionally marked an eight, so this measure is really important, and I'm not entirely convinced that uh, the second arrow was a nine either. You, you seemed a little unsure. Let's hear what the uh, target judge has to say. I think that second one, second arrow there was outside the ten, and I think the top one there is definitely in the nine. So, so we can conclude that uh, the scores are level then in the second set. Well, it was all square in the second set after the measure, 28 apiece. So the score remains a two-point advantage for Bauer. She leads 3-1. So Charlene Schwartz here will shoot first in the third. Coming in, you can see that thread on the front of the long rod just moving around a little bit more. Put the flag in the background as well, just flapping away. Well, there is that thread on the end of that stabiliser. No it's not a strong wind, but it's, the, it's the, we've said this before, archers just don't like it when it changes so much, it's blustery. Yeah, that's right, it might be different from where they're standing as down at the target, 70 metres away as well, so you've got to consider what they're feeling, what they're seeing downrange as well. well. Left the door open again for Bauer, who seems to be back in the middle of the target. A 10 to go 5-1 up. Nine uh, nine we'll call the nine uh, for a 28, and they share the points again. It's hard to know <laughs> with the, the, the performance trajectory. I mean, certainly for uh, Schwarz, she seems to be getting better and better. But it's a bit of a sort of wavy line in terms of performance for Bauer. Yeah, but I mean, she's been consistent. She's 28 points every end so far. So. It's so tight between these two. They must train together a lot. They must know each other really well um, to come to come here all the way to Antalya and shoot a match against each other is always a bit odd against your teammate. Yeah, well, you just stole the question out of my head. Then it, it is, but it is an interesting one, isn't it? That uh, athletes coming all this way training together and then they find themselves in a situation where the winner is going to come away with a medal. Is going to end up in possibly the worst place in sport, fourth, just off the podium. Bauer leading the way in the match, though, so it's back to the shooting line. And Charlene Schwartz for set number four. If you notice the baby powder on the chin, that is just to help the release come through really nicely. If you're a bit sweaty, a bit tacky on your skin, it just doesn't come through as well. So you see some archers using that just to make it really flow through there. Yeah, a little bit of frustration there. Watch Francis' face. Two nines, great grouping. Nine point. Nine doing just enough to stay ahead. She needs a clear win in this set to go through. Schwartz could do with a 10 to put some more pressure on. Oh, she's gone very high. That's a seven. So as you can see, a gettable target here for Katarina Vauer for bronze. A little bit of shakiness there. And uh, she gets a nine in the end, and it's a 28 plays 27 in that fourth set. And she's done just enough to make it through to the podium here in Antalya.